I want you to look at this graph, okay? This graph is an incredible graph because it is the birth and the death of a company. Now, no, often you don't get to see this ever, but here it is. Stack Overflow is dead. I don't know if you know this, but during the first full month of operation, they got 3,749 questions asked on the website. And during December 2025, there's 3,862 questions. It has officially gone back to month one. It's gone. So I have a lot of things to say about this. And I, I'm going to tell you a, a story. I was actually called out in real life over a post I made on Stack Overflow. But first, I think something even more kind of illustrative we should chat about for a second. You know, when I look at this graph and I see this, I see that Stack Overflow was long falling off before the AI boon hit. I mean, you can see COVID, it went just to the moon, right? And then quickly fell off only like two months into the COVID spike. Obviously, people did not like the website long before AI existed. Stack Overflow is a toxic, horrible place designed to make dev Karens excel because giving them small amounts of power to power trip over people was just the way to create the dev Karen paradise. So am I shocked or anything that Stack Overflow died? No, I'm not. But I think the thing that is still to this day so shocking is that Stack Overflow had one of the single greatest positions for the AI boom. It simply was only taken advantage of. Like, I mean, it is shocking. I'm not sure if they're, if, if Anthropic uh oh stack overflow money or what though ai did not kill the company that would be the dev karens it certainly had a few nails and profited so much off of stack overflow oh my gosh this is something that uh, this will be studied for the ages a company so thoroughly positioned to benefit off the boom of ai completely collapses under the weight of a Karen. <laughs> Damn, insane, right? Okay, but the, the real thing is that when I see this, I know I'm like laughing at it, yeah, screw that. But if you if you were dev as old as I am, okay, old as dirt here, this time period right here, this was a pretty sweet time period, okay? Because this was the time period in which I was beginning to become a web dev. I was a Java slash C dev working on robots and and like offline uh, web or web applications, regular ass applications using the Java Swing framework. And so when I moved over to the web and Ubuntu, it was quite the experience for me. And honestly, Stack Overflow, it was incredible. Stack Overflow helped me get to where I was. I could look at so many questions and it was honestly incredible. It was like nothing else at the time. And honestly, there's part of me that when I look back on that, kind of like the nostalgia hits, you know what I mean? The nostalgia hits hard. And so when I see this graph, it's, it's not that I'm like, I, I am happy in some sense that people don't have to deal with just that, the crap moderation. But on the other hand, just feel sad, you know? It just still feels a little sad. You know, because like one game I used to play way, way back in the day was how to trigger people. Like, look at this question right here. What is more Pythonic for not? Oh my gosh, look at this. If not for in A versus if for not in A. Yeah, I was click, dude, fellas, I was clickbaiting devs long before YouTube was even in my uh, purview, okay? I, I've, been, I've been out there just triggering people. Oh my gosh, I had so much fun asking the stupidest questions that I could possibly come up with to see if I can farm a little bit of that stack overflow karma. But alas, that time period has been long over, as you can see here. That question was 12 years and five months ago. Dude, damn, I was like 27 at the time, thinking it was hilarious. But I will say my favorite story about stack overflow, one that for me will go down as like a personal mark of pride, and dignity was way back in the day, okay? This was like three years ago, so not that far back in the day. I was at a conference, okay? A Vercel conference, okay? There's lots of triangles. We were all wearing black turtlenecks. It was an incredible experience. And somebody was at the table, worked for Stack Overflow. And I was like, oh my gosh, someone still works at Stack Overflow. So naturally, I had to start asking some questions, see what he did around there. You know, that's, it just feels weird. It's like finding someone that still works for Yahoo. You know, you're just like, damn. <laughs> Damn, son, you work for Yahoo? Which, by the way, I did know someone that worked at Yahoo, and that was pretty much my response. And this was like eight years ago. I was just like, damn, you work for a Yahoo? Uh, anyways, we were chatting, and I was just like, man, Stack Overflow. You know, I used to ask uh, I used to ask some funny questions. In fact, I, I even got in trouble for one of my questions, and he was just like, wait a second. Are you the dicked guy? I did not see that. Okay, I did not be like, you know, I one time trolled. No, 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 no. I was just like, you know, I got in a little trouble for a question I asked once on that apparently, 
There is a there is a bit of a slack a bit of a little bit of slack chatter, and I am one of the infamous question askers on the old Stack Overflow. Now, unfortunately, I cannot get the Stack Overflow post. That post was deleted. I checked the Wayback Machine. It does not seem to have it, so I just can't get access to it. But I do have the moderation email, and I thought I would just read you the moderation email because this is just how good it was. Now, the question, of course, is called the best way to measure your dict and bites. And you can imagine, I got both hands on that question. I really just churned out the best possible question that I could muster. So the moderation email goes like this. Your question, the best way to measure your dict and bites, was deleted as rude slash abrasive because it appears to have deliberately crafted to have multiple sex based double entendres. How thoroughly you wove the double entendres into your question was impressive. But it also made it clear that doing so was intentional. And now, I love that. And you know what? I can't be upset. This is the only one action of moderation that I'm not upset about. They even recognized game, okay? Game recognized game in that one. They said they, they were impressed, okay? I love that. I love the fact that they were even able to say, okay, it was pretty good. We're not going to ban you. We're just going to say don't do that again, okay? You took effort. At least you're trolling with high effort. So when I see this graph, there's a part of, there's there's a small part of me that's a little bit like, it's a little, little sad about it. There's a huge part of me that's pretty happy about it. It's bittersweet for sure. Honestly, I think it's just really easy to cheer for the death of Stack Overflow, but it also played a pretty pivotal role in my early web dev days. So it's hard to just spit on that grave, okay? I'm not out there giving the old peace sign next to the grave. No, I'm actually... A little sad, you know? It's like seeing the thing that was ruined from your childhood finally get canceled, you know? You're like happy that it, because it got ruined from your childhood, but also sad because it was part of your childhood, you know? Anyways, just one of the... I, I, there's no purpose to this video other than yap, and so there you go. Have it. Take it. Run with it. Enjoy it. The name is the Primogen. Hey, is that HTTP? Get that out of here. That's not how we order coffee. We order coffee via SSH, terminal.shop. Yeah, you want a real experience? You want real coffee? You want awesome subscriptions so you never have to remember again? Oh, you want exclusive blends with exclusive coffee and exclusive content? Then check out Cron. You don't know what SSH is? Well, maybe the coffee is not for you. Terminal coffee in hand, living the